Just like that, fall has come and gone here in northern Minnesota. It seems like just overnight the water temperatures plummeted to, from the high 50s down into the high 40s and the boat ramps have cleared out. I'm guessing a lot of people are putting up the rods, taking out the shotguns and being done with fishing for the year. But I, I'm holding out hope this is the time of year that big fish bite and they get in big massive schools. If I'm gonna catch my personal best, it's gonna be this time of year. And I got three different lures that I use to find and locate these bass. First of all, the biggest key is again, they school up. This time of year, the schools are congregating into big wintering areas. And they're moving in by the minute. They might be a little slow, their metabolism, not willing to shake their tail to go run over and grab a bait. But at the same time, if I could slow down my presentation and still move a bunch of water, I can get myself some big bites. And my first choice to do that is an Outcast Tackle Gold Knife Swim Bait Head. This is a 3 8 ounce model. I'm using 12 pound Seeger and Vizix line and my bait of choice, the Biospawn Swimmer on the back and Fighter Shad. It's a four inch model. I am trying to give them a little bit bigger bait this time of year. Again, I'm attracting a bigger bite. They don't want to exhaust that much energy. Instead, they'd just rather eat an easy meal that comes right by their rock, turn on and eat it, get themselves fat and get through the winter. And this bait helps me attract those big bites. I'm using a Shimano X Pride rod, super sensitive rod. This is actually a 7.2 medium light plus, which means it has a real soft tip, helps me detect real little subtle bites, but at the same time has a ton of backbone. I can horse those fish, I can get them up off those rocks and get them into the boat. Uh, definitely this time of year, you gotta throw a paddle tail swim bait when you're attracting those bites. Secondly, my choice is definitely a blade bait. It's an old technique. Um, I, I absolutely love it this time of year. If they're biting it, I can't get myself to put it down. It's a great way to, to get that lethargic bite. I'm um, using the G Loomis NRX, picks up every single detection. I can tell the difference between zebra mussels and rocks and bites. One key that I do this time of year is definitely I switch out my hooks and these are little owner STX's right here in a size of eight the bite's soft so I want everything that I can possibly get into these fish and these STX owners are absolutely sticky sharp and just lands the biggest percentage of all my bites. Last but not least, if you're targeting big fish and you're on a big fish factory like Mille Lacs, you have to be throwing a jig. And in my case, this right here is an Outcast Tackle football jig. I got a Biospawn Biocraw on the back, get it in the big rocks, throw it where those fish live. I'm using a G Loomis NRX 783. This is a 7.3 medium heavy Carolina rig rod. Uh, excellent for Carolina rigging even better for throwing the football jig. Any structure fishing that I'm throwing where I'm making big casts, this NRX gets the job done. I'm using a Shimano Corrado 15 pound test and again, just throwing the big jig out there and attracting those big bites. Instead of just calling it over, the ice has not covered up the lakes yet. There's still plenty of good fishing to be done and lots of it. Get out there and get the job done. Tight lines.